grade our draft real quick so far? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say it's a, it's a B plus. I guess an A would be like somehow getting something rid ridiculously good, good looking. But um, at the end of the day, we got the positions that we ha had been talking about getting the posi position wise, except for the linebacker. Yep. And uh, but, uh, you know, I feel like. I look at the D line and linebackers kind of as a, a package with totally. Dan Quinn. So totally. Yeah. You know what I? Uh, you know what I'm yeah, excited what, to but do? But you, you still didn't say what? What would you grade? He us? said B plus. Oh B plus. Guess what? You, you oh, just like in real life, I wasn't listening you to you. Know him, so. I'm, you know what I'm? You know what I'm excited to see the the our seven round mock draft versus yeah. the the draft right. that the Cowboys did. Like <laughs> yeah. just the guys we took in our mock draft. I'm excited yeah. to see how they do versus versus like, how our guys like do. How our, how our guys yeah. did. And most our guys that uh, like that we took in our mock draft, uh, obviously the the first one we took, we took Zion Johnson. He was off the board, but our second round pick was still there when we picked that second. So it'll be exciting to see the, how we did, which I imagine we did better than Jerry Jones and his boys. Kidding. I don't think we did. We are very <laughs> non-experts at the draft. But AJ, I obviously love that you came on. Uh, when are you back in, in, in Canada, by the way? Never. Um, <laughs> Mid-June. Mid Mid June. Mid June. Oh, Jeez. so you're still. So we still got like six cast oh. of you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not, not even out of office. It's oh, out of out, out of OC. country. Oh, oh, out, 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 out of country. All right, buddy. We appreciate you uh, right. giving us some time Crack in your travels. Him. Crack, Crack me, you got, got him, him, son. And we're back, Please. just uh, here with just the the Bessie boys. Just, just the bros. Just the bros. We could do some chat if there's still yep. people in there. If there's any any questions for chat. Uh, cause I think I, I've kind of touched on a lot of the stuff I want to touch on, but the main thing about doing a podcast and doing a live stream is you want to talk okay, to people so that are in here. So Marion Cabretti, who showed up before in the, in the what's chat up, in, in, on the podcast, uh, what's, what's up? He gives it a B plus for him too. Solid. Do y'all feel we can still pick up some of the free agents after the draft? Oh yeah. A hundred percent. I, that's the thing with, uh, free agencies kind of in a couple, in a weird window. You do, you do you always get that main blitz out of free agency and the Cowboys are never heavy in it. And then you get that, 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 um, kind of window of free agency ends, the draft happens. And then there's like another wave of free agency. So I'd be surprised if we didn't start targeting people. Steven Jones said we were going to target some guys. There's still a lot of good players. There's still yep. Odell Beckham, uh, uh, Landry, like as far as wide receivers, yep. there's still a lot of players out there, and I would be very, very, very surprised if it wasn't in our best interest to one sign free agents and then two uh, go after some un uh, undrafted guys. I think the thing that I look at with the the, the draft or when any type of drafting happens, um, again we talked about it. You just don't know, like the amount of like effort that goes into each of these players, and then. You see a guy like Nakobe Dean drop and slide down so far. Like, what do what do the teams know that we don't? What are they misjudging? And ultimately, you know, you look at a guy like Tom Brady who gets drafted in the sixth, sixth round, round yeah. and he becomes one of the goats. So, all this to say is like we you, you just don't know. There there is a lot of effort that goes into these drafts, and you get a guy like Micah Parsons or uh, Trevin Diggs. That you can get jacked up about, and you get these these studs. I think you got to trust in the team that you're you're backing, and no matter what, you're always going to have naysayers who are going to like bitch or complain about it. But at the end of the day, we're all kind of keyboard warriors when it comes 100%, to one hundred percent. When it comes to what people are doing, right? At no, no one's going to be completely happy. Like you said, Micah Parsons. I think everyone was pretty pretty happy with that pick. That there wasn't like the controversy with as a Tyler Smith. But you're right. At the end of the day, these guys these guys have probably I don't know how many scouts out watching these dudes and the amount of hours that they fucking pour into uh, scouting a player. And even with all that, it's not a guarantee. Yeah. And like you said with Nicobe Dean, Nicobe Dean was one of the 30 players that yeah. was here in Vegas. Like we watched him walk well, across. He didn't, he didn't walk out when he. When he, he didn't got... walk out because he probably was fucking. He was well, the, he was here because he thought he they thought he was going in the first round. Chris Galbraith is saying that he he uh, he slipped because he's injured, so he can miss a season. That's why he slipped. So we I don't know see... if he's injured, I, but he said he can miss a season. That's why he's injured. So that we so we didn't hear that at all. Yeah, he had a pec shoulder issue. Oh yeah, someone did tell me about the shoulder. I still think that he the chose Eagles to not have surgery. On. I still think the Eagles got a fucking absolute steal, steal with that. Oh, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of sure. mad. That he went to an NFC East team, because like any other team, I would have kind of followed Cheered him and been yeah. happy about him. Yeah. But, but now, now it's now, like now you hate him. And I, yeah, it's like 
I mean, I hope you still play in the NFL, but it's like, I hope you don't have success. Is that, like, is that bad? Yeah, Marion Cabretti saying Anthony Barr and Honey Badger are still out there. I, I would love to get Honey Badger. I'd like to get Anthony Barr. Both good, great players. And uh, what else we got here? Um, and still good players uh, from Dallas Cowboys on Center said still good players uh, that are out there and still June 1st cuts. So, I mean, yeah, what we're like, the draft happens and then what kind of free agency moves are going to happen? Like that's there's still it, lots. The thing is the Cowboys were very, very silent over uh, the last few months in terms of making free agency moves and, and signings. So it, it you kind of hope that they have this master plan and they're going to start to do some moves in this off season because there are areas that like you were saying, we need to shore up no matter what. Yeah. You know what though? I'll say this because there, there was a lot of hate for the Tyler Smith uh, pick, everyone we were around at the draft liked it. Everyone was going nuts. Yeah. Everyone, everyone live, and I, I, it might be the atmosphere, it might be the yep. alcohol. You, you don't really know. I mean, yep. I, I was like Tyler Smith. I don't even really recognize the yeah. name. And then two seconds later, I'm jumping around yeah, like jumping I just, around, won, like the you just won the lottery. Just because I see everyone else doing they it. They like the pick. I'm taking they the like pick. The, they like it. Other Cowboys fans like it. Well, fucking right. So I'm, I'm in. <laughs> 